Massive bloating whales washing up in British Columbia. Well, it's a sad situation, these animals dying. Recently, at least four whales have been found dead on our shorelines. A necropsy can try to solve the mystery of why these humpback whales are dying. If it's fresh, we can get lots of information, lots of helpful information. and You can get tissues, internal organs, very important. Once it starts to decay, it's hard to determine what happened. It's important to figure out, yeah, why they died. Even though the whale is dead, gas inside of it can build. It can actually be dangerous if you're in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Experts degas the animal in a controlled way. So you have to be careful when you're, especially when you're degassing a whale doing a necropsy as well, because it can be quite, uh, quite energetic if it's, uh, if there's a significant amount of gas in there. And then, you know, the, the tissues break down over time. Which can lead to a mess. It can be pretty messy and I have seen uh, lots of spray and, and I've, I've been sprayed a few times too, but even with trying to do it properly, it's, there's a, it's a, under a lot of pressure sometimes, the, the body cavity. That very messy carcass is important to food webs. They call it whale fall. Uh, dead carcasses are really important um, and can sustain whole, whole ecosystems, whether it's a blue whale, say whale, fin whale, humpback. These are big animals and, and they do decompose over long periods of time. And there's whole food webs that, that um, have evolved around these whale carcasses. When they sink in deep water, uh, they're, they're basically islands of life or food for for lots of aquatic organisms. And also on land. For terrestrial organisms like bears and wolves and raptors and coyotes, uh, really important food sources, especially in the winter. Providing a great protein source. The blubber and, and other parts are, you know, the skin. You know, in terms of predation, we've seen, um, you know, the birds and, and raptors and, and then the mammals, uh, you know, bears and, and wolves and, uh, predate on on these carcasses and and they they tend to eat I've seen them eat all all types of parts the internal organs and um, the muscle fisheries and oceans Canada says the carcasses can be dangerous to humans and pets and that people should stay away from the dead animals if you see a whale in distress or dead you're asked to call the 24-hour reporting line Alana Kelly Glacier Media Vancouver